Hello and welcome to Weisman channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enter the bootloader mode on the Proxmark and how to flash it. Join me. You have your Proxmark laying around. If you unplug it and plug it in normally, this is how it looks like. The D-LED turns on and then turns off. This is normal operations, right? Next one here is I try to do it like this. You have to keep the button pressed and enter the cable. You can release the button now if you have a more modern boat loader on to it and you should have that because we changed this two years ago. You see that the LEDs A and C is turned on. This is indication that the Proxmark is in boot loader mode. If you unplug it and you're, you let go of the button and it turn off again, you have a very old boat loader. So that means you have to do the button trick. That means that you press and hold it pressed all the time and you have to operate this with your other hand. And so it's a one hand operation, right? But I don't have to do that. Now I can just unplug it and plug it in normally again and we're going to head over to the terminal. In the terminal, you see in the Proxmark, I assume that you have your dev environment already set up and that you can compile and you have compiled your uh, project and you want to try things out. If you look at this, or, uh, long, you see that we have five scripts. This is shell scripts, bash scripts. This is the one that has everything inside it and this is just shortcuts to this one. All you need to do when you flash things is to flash all. That updates both the bottom image and the full image where the application runs. I will do that right now. And you will notice that the LEDs A and C turns on because the client is able to reset and put the device in boat loader mode. You see the lovely ASCII art there. <laughs> so you know that you're flashing Iceman. And done. You also see that the device resets again and should just enumerate on your system. Now you can just run the client like that. And you see that it all went well. You can verify what you have here. And if you want to check that your, com your device is working well, you run HF uh, HW status, or you can run HW tune to uh, measure the characteristics of your antennas. It doesn't tune your antennas, it just show you how it was, which you see here. And you should look for these two lines. All right, I hope you enjoyed it.